is not going anywhere, people. And the pull-up bar is gonna go right here. So one post is gonna go there, and one post there. Still on the number one hole. We had to make it a little funky. There was a rock right there. It's all broke up. I just kept hitting it until it broke. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this first one in and just kind of see what it looks like. Definitely not setting it yet though. I wish these could have gone like a foot deeper. That's not too bad. Certainly not too far off as far as width. This is where the hole was. This is where the hole is going. Straight down there. Um, there's a rock there. There's one lower down there, and is what this rock was doing. For the 4x6 to be turned correctly, uh, let's line up with this one. That rock wasn't allowing it to spin. And so I really didn't want to have to do this, make a big hole in the yard, but gotta do what we gotta do, right? So this will come out, and then I might end up just like repositioning it in the hole so the rock can stay down there. The rock was right there, there's the rock. Uh, pretty good one. Redig my hole where it's supposed to be. That won't be too hard. And then we'll put the post in there and see if the rock can go back in there. Just so the concrete doesn't have to fill up such a big spot. I just threw a level on there. And this side's a little bit deeper. So there's a rock at the bottom, but I'm gonna try and clean that one out a little bit more in case I can. And if not, we'll just put a little something in the bottom of that. Got the holes exactly where they need to be. The the pools might be not quite level this way yet. Uh, it is exactly level across the top. Uh, the reason that I did that is because I didn't want to just measure the depth of the hole over there and then measure the depth over here because as you see, this one's kind of like got a little bump there from when I was pulling on rocks and stuff. And I didn't know if the ground was going to be perfectly level. But I did want the post to be level at the top. Because we might throw a salmon ladder on here. Which would be pretty sweet. Here's the pole I'm going to be using. I believe it's 6 feet exactly. Um, I'll double check that. And I have not figured out exactly the brackets that I'm going to use. Um, I was going to use the little floor mounts that screw on the end of these. And then have a plate that you can screw to a post. But those were $10 a piece. And I wasn't about to spend like... 22 bucks with tax on something that I could figure out myself. So an example of what my brackets gonna be, drill a hole in a two by four, that's the same exact size as that. And then, so since my posts need to be exactly the same width apart as that is long with how my brackets are gonna be, um, I don't have the drill bit yet to drill it out. So I would like to get the post set today and then I can work on the brackets. So is how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna find the exact width of my pole um, between the posts and then drill a two by three or two by four, whatever you, whatever you wanna use uh, into, the, into the boards so that they're exactly the right width apart. Then I'll level them up, get them in the right spot and then uh, set them. The exact measurement of my pole. Uh, the reason being so that I don't have to hold the pole up there uh, or hold the tape measure up there when I'm trying to screw this board on there. I can just uh, line up the markings. Uh, putting up my stability board that I just marked. There's going to be a couple measurements that I'm going to need. I'm going to make sure that it's exactly the same distance from the top of that post as well as the top of that post. So I'll either measure from the top or just stick a level on it. So let's put that up there now.
bag said, stick it in there, leave like a hole in it so you can put water in it, and then uh, put 3.5 quarts of water in there. 80 pound bag. We're gonna do this side first, because this was the, this will be the easiest I have a feeling. Uh, the hole's the best. Pull that rock out, move the tote. When it's in there, while it's still wet, uh, just get it exactly perfect. I got my concrete all mixed up. Uh, not too soupy. Put about a gallon of water in it, one bag. And the hole it goes. Make sure all the air bubbles are out. She's spot on. Okay, this is what the hole with concrete, I just put it in here. Um, the post is perfectly level both ways. Um, I just took that one out. Actually, it fell over <laughs> once earlier, uh, which kind of sucks, but it ripped this out. So I'll fill that in with some putty or something later on, but it kind of was nice so that I could take that post off but once I made sure they were correctly spaced um, and that is perfectly level it's sturdy enough that I'm gonna just leave it I don't need to worry about putting boards up there I'll let it set for today and won't use anything do anything with it tomorrow until tomorrow obviously so that it has the opportunity to harden as it should uh, the concrete I feel like it was a perfect mixture also, I'm going to go uh, wash all my tools off and my wheelbarrow out so that I don't leave it and it doesn't make a mess in the wheelbarrow. I'm going to put a few rocks right here just so that my concrete doesn't come all over here because I want it to go up the post a little ways. This side's dry. I'm gonna fill it in with dirt right now. And for the moment of truth. She works pretty sweet. I'm impressed. I was just the first pull up, uh, just finished putting in the bracket, didn't know how well that was going to work. I mean, it wiggles a little bit side to side. Uh, I went with the 4x6s instead of 6x6s six because they were quite a bit cheaper. And I also didn't spend like $11 a piece for the brackets, uh, made these, these ones, but it's sturdy. So. Sweet. So I'm sure that a lot of people, they could have done this a little bit better, uh, so on and so forth. But overall, it took me a while and I'm very happy with the outcome. I didn't end up spending the $11 a piece on these brackets. Um, that's very sufficient. It doesn't look too bad either. The two by fours, uh, they work really good. That one squeaks just a little bit, but I'm gonna figure out how to deal with that. It's very sturdy as well. The bar is perfectly level, so everything's how it should be, and I'm happy with it.